let's talk about how to erase those wrinkles and fine lines without wasting money. My name is Dr. Swati Cannon and I am a cosmetic dermatologist. I literally erase people's wrinkles for a living. If you look in the mirror and think that you look older, but you're not really feeling older and you see all of these fine lines that don't really match your energy levels and you can't figure out what to do, well, I got you. Today, I'm going to share my top five tips for erasing wrinkles and fine lines and to even prevent wrinkles from forming in the first place. Stay tuned till the end of this video because my last tip is not something people commonly think of as it's relatively new and exciting within the skincare industry. Now let's preface this entire video by saying that aging is truly a privilege. If we are not aging, we are dead. So we want to age, but we just sometimes want to look as good as we feel on the inside. That is the most common reason of why people come to me. Now, if you love your fine lines and wrinkles, that is awesome. You don't have to do any cosmetic treatments. You don't have to do the skincare that I'm recommending. Cosmetic treatments are not really medically necessary, but they're there to make us look and feel better about ourselves. And that's perfectly okay. If you wanna get a treatment done, awesome. If you don't wanna do it, also awesome. I just don't want to judge people that do or don't do treatments. And I think there's a lot of stigma associated with cosmetic treatments, but we should really remove that stigma because getting Botox and getting laser, is it really any different than enhancing your appearance with makeup or getting your hair colored, getting your grays dyed, wearing nice clothes, getting nail polish? So are cosmetic difference really any different from other things that we normally already do to enhance our appearance? And I really want you guys to think about it and let me know in the comments below what you think regarding that question. So let's move on to my tips. The first tip is to wear sunscreen. The end. This is the end of the video. No, I'm kidding. I mean, I'm not kidding. You should wear sunscreen. But really the first tip is to implement a skincare regimen that you really enjoy doing and that works for you. This includes a vitamin C in the morning, a sunscreen in the morning, and a retinoid and moisturizers at nighttime. I already have four videos on my channel that will give you an in-depth review on how to create a regimen with all of these ingredients. I have one on vitamin C, on retinoids. I have one listing my favorite tinted sunscreens, and finally one that gives you a template on how to create a skincare regimen putting all these ingredients together. So make sure you watch those videos to be able to create a good regimen that fits your lifestyle and your needs. Regarding anti-aging and wrinkle prevention though, retinoids and vitamin C are really amazing ingredients. Of course, sunscreen, we have to wear sunscreen, but retinoids and vitamin C help to stimulate more collagen and the name of the game is make more collagen. The next tip is to actually include other skincare ingredients besides just vitamin C, sunscreen, and retinoids. There are creams with peptides and peptides are basically like little amino acids that are the protein building blocks. And research shows that when we integrate peptides into our skincare routine, it actually helps to stimulate collagen. So if you made it to this part of the video, let me know if you want an in-depth video on peptides. I haven't made one yet and I'm thinking if I should make it or not. So if you want me to make one, like and comment below saying more peptides. Peptides really are like not spoken about enough in skincare, I think, and they're really gonna get more attention in the upcoming decade. Just for this video, I wanna give you some of my favorite peptide cream recommendations. Skin Medica Tannis Recovery Serum is a multi-peptide serum that works really well for anti-aging, but it's like a whopping $220, so it is very expensive. It's expensive, but effective. So sometimes expensive things, if you are able to spend the money on it, well, this one expensive cream is effective. La Mer, which is like $500 for a stupid moisturizer, is not effective. Just because something is expensive doesn't mean it works or, or doesn't work. Elastin Restorative Skin Complex is another multi-peptide serum. This one actually contains their patented Trihex Peptide Technology. It's about $195, so also very expensive. But there's actually a lot of research using Elastin products, including this one. There's an increase of collagen in Elastin by about 30%. So this one not only helps with collagen, but we know that it also helps to stimulate elastin. And elastin and collagen work together to give you that skin suppleness. There is a cheaper alternative, and this is by The Ordinary Brand. They make a serum called The Buffet uh, plus copper. And this one contains five different types of peptides plus copper. And copper is actually a mineral that's used when making collagen along with vitamin C. So the peptides plus copper is effective in creating more collagen bundles. And it's $15, so you you just like can't go wrong with that price point. When you are adding new products into your skincare routine and layering products, remember to go from the lightest, which is like a serum, all the way to the thickest. So if you're going to be layering vitamin C and peptides, wash your face, use a vitamin C, let it soak in, then use your peptide serum, moisturize, and sunscreen. 
So that is how you would kind of integrate peptides into your regimen. The next step for getting rid of wrinkles or just to prevent wrinkles is starting in-office treatments like microneedling or gentle resurfacing treatments with either Fraxel or Clear and Brilliant. Most of these microneedling treatments or Clear and Brilliant treatments are about $450 to $600 per treatment. And instead of getting facials and wasting money on this skincare device or this skincare device that you can use at home, which are not effective, save up your money so you can do treatments that are actually going to be effective. Now, if you started like microneedling treatments or these laser treatments, you know, for example, in your 30s, then you're going to prevent getting wrinkles for a long time because you're constantly renewing your skin and you're constantly replenishing that collagen. Remember that these types of treatments are kind of cumulative. So when you combine good skincare plus resurfacing treatments that are gentle with very minimal downtime, these are cumulative treatments that are going to help you in the long run. By the way, I do these Clear and Brilliant treatments and Clear and Brilliant, you may not have heard of, but it's like a baby Fraxel or a baby resurfacing laser and it creates tiny little channels into the skin to then help stimulate collagen. It has like no downtime. It is very gentle. It's very good for pigment issues as well. It's something that I recommend a lot, especially to the younger patients or to patients who have melasma. Next tip for addressing deeper wrinkles or just kind of deeper folds, especially like the nasal labial folds or these folds that we get as we get older is to use filler. I said it, use filler. Now people are very afraid of filler and that's because people sell their face and go get Groupon deals and get fillers done by untrained people. And so then you just like look like a marshmallow. But if fillers are done properly and by the right person, they are very good at replenishing volume loss while still making you look natural. There are three main types of fillers. So you have the hyaluronic acid fillers like your Restylane, your Juvederm, you guys have probably heard of those. And then you also have your biostimulatory fillers like Sculptra and Radius. Sculptra and Radius are bio stimulatory because they allow your skin to make more collagen. The other nice thing about Sculpture and Radius is that they don't attract water, so you're less likely to look like a marshmallow in the long run because it's making your own collagen, so the results are very natural. I personally prefer Sculptra over hyaluronic acid fillers as much as I can, but of course in some patients I do have to use both. In fact, I have Sculptra in my cheeks right now and they were deflating just because, you know, I'm getting older. You can see that it looks symmetric, it looks natural, it also helps to refine your skin skin texture and so it just has so many really great properties. Now if you are someone with just really bad skin laxity and everything is just responding to gravity then fillers may not be the right things for you. You might just need a facelift with a plastic surgeon or in my office I can also do a thread lift but there's a lot of controversy you know about thread lifts and even I myself don't have like a clear recommendation of yes thread lifts no thread lifts. I tend to choose thread lifts for patients who are the right candidate. So if you're the right candidate you have a little bit of laxity that just needs to be lifted and I don't want to pump fillers into your face, I will recommend a thread lift. Now in conjunction with filler, the next tip to minimize wrinkles from forming or to erase some of the fine lines that have already formed is to start Botox. It's best to start Botox before you have these deep-seated furrows. You know, once you have those deep-seated furrows like in the glabella, which is like right here or in the forehead, it is very hard to fix that with Botox alone. So just like with anything, it is easier to address lines before they become so embedded into your skin. Now, what's the best age for Botox? The best age is whenever your fine lines appear and they bother you. So for me, for example, I have very baby muscles and I don't really have fine lines yet or wrinkles yet, but I started giving myself Botox at the age of about 32 and it has helped me to maintain my lack of fine lines. Now, other people have incredibly expressive faces and their muscles are a lot thicker. They might need preventive Botox at an earlier age. I say Botox, but really it's botulinum toxin and there are many different kinds already out on the market. So you have Dysport, Juveau, Zeomin, and these are all different molecules of botulinum toxin. I hate the fact that it contains the word toxin because it's so confusing to people. It's not truly dangerous to you. You know, we are not paralyzing your entire body. But unfortunately, the term contains toxin. And how this molecule works is that it goes into the muscle and it inhibits the molecular reaction that causes your muscles to contract. So over time, when we slow down the movement of your muscles, the fine lines and the muscles, they kind of soften over time. However, the issue with Botox is that it doesn't last for longer than three to four months. And some people actually metabolize Botox a lot faster than that. So there is another one on the market that's recently FDA approved called Daxify. And this one claims that 
it will last about six to nine months so it's probably going to be a little bit more expensive but it'll be longer lasting however we have not gotten it into the office to try so stay tuned because i will update you on that now my next tip which you've all been waiting for is in relationship to botox but it is not an injection it's basically to make botox last longer with a skincare ingredient called argireline Argireline. I don't know who names these, but they are so hard to pronounce. But just because I can't pronounce it doesn't mean I don't know what I'm saying. So Argireline is actually a brand name and it is a patented brand name for a certain set of peptide molecules that have been shown to have the same effect on the muscle as Botox. However, it's not an injection, it's a topical. So this whole time, you know, we've been trying to figure out how can we put Botox in a bottle? And that's what Argireline is. It's Botox in a bottle. Of course, it's not as effective is Botox because Argireline is like topical and Botox is an injection that directly goes to the source. But when you use Argireline, especially in combination with Botox, it will make your Botox last longer, thus saving you money. You can also, of course, use it without Botox and see how effective it is. Research shows that Argireline is the most effective for lines and the fine lines around the eyes. And that makes sense because the skin is much thinner and the muscle is right underneath your eyelid skin. And so Argireline is going to penetrate that and be more effective. So if you want to use it, you can basically apply it to around your eyes, in your glabella here or forehead and see how effective it is. The thing about Argireline is that just because you see it in a bottle doesn't mean that it's going to be effective. The formulation is really really important for this molecule. So some of my recommended products include the Ordinary brand literally makes Argireline solution and when it's combined with the Matrixil 10% hyaluronic acid the combination is pretty effective but their Buffet serum also contains Argireline and Matrixil so you can just use that and all of these products are for like about 10 to 15 dollars. There is another skincare company called Depology and they make a Matrixil 3000 collagen boosting serum and this one also contains argireline and you can try it. And there is another brand called Coast de Baja that makes a very inexpensive argireline serum that contains other peptides as well and that's about $18.99. Those are my tips for erasing and preventing fine lines and wrinkles. If you want to go more in depth into an anti-aging lifestyle or anti-aging procedures that I do in my dermatology practice, you can watch these two videos next. So thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and share with others if you found it helpful. It really helps to grow my channel and I will see you in the next two videos.